Now, as I mentioned before, we're going to take a few moments to discuss available help options that can be used with various commands. So as we've listed here, you've got a couple of different options on how to do that. So we'll start out with the help switch. Now, there are actually many different variations of this. There's dash H, dash dash H, dash help, and then dash dash help. So you'll really have to play around with it to figure out exactly what that is. Now, just using the help switch is only going to give you a brief description of the command and some available options to use with that command. Also, when using the dashes and calling a command, there are various orders in which those have to be put in. And this is also a helpful place to find out what that order is. In addition, we've got our info command, which will give us more information about the particular script or program that we're looking for. And the most comprehensive of all are the man pages, or the manual pages. Now the help switch is not going to be available everywhere, and it will be different depending on the command, the version of the operating system, and the shell that you might be using. So be aware that the help may not always work. Now the info command is very similar to the help command in that it is fairly inconsistent on how to use it and when it will or will not work. So as you can see, we can also request information by placing info before the command name. And finally, the manual pages or the man pages. The man syntax is exactly like the info syntax. So we'll type in man space and then the command that we're looking for more information about. So let's move over to our operating system and see what we can find out. So if I want more information about the ls command, as we saw before, we can type in our help command, or we can type in info about ls. And this will actually give us a brief description. It lists information about files, and it will move on, etc. Now in addition, we can type in man ls, and this will actually give us the man page. And as I mentioned before, this is definitely by far the most comprehensive help file available. And luckily enough, there are almost always man pages available for individual commands, especially if they're built-in commands in the particular operating system.